I am up, hungry, and I'm getting ready to go and eat this morning. It is still cold and icy here, but I think that I may just go ahead and take time and go ahead and try to get into the gym today, or at least go outside for a walk. I've got to go outside today. That's on my agenda, to go outside or to go to the gym. I am up trying to figure out this room, this mess behind me. I have stuff everywhere. Um, my jewelry stuff, I have everything just spread it around in here. My treadmills, all of my exercise equipment and everything as you can see. So today I'm going to be working in here. Um, I may just let you all, you know, let me let you see what I'm doing. But you can see I have a lot to do. And come up with something that is going to work. Okay, so this is my little office area, and I have got to just figure this out today. Now, see, I am hungry, so I'm going to go in and have me some of the chicken Alfredo casserole. My husband really loves that. That is almost gone. We probably have about two more servings a piece left of that, so I figure by the end of the day, or at least by tomorrow, that will be gone. And then my chili, I'm going to split that up and put it in uh, individual serving bags and freeze it uh, in the refrigerator because I still have, um, I would say, quite a bit of the chili left. But I'm also going to make some keto cornbread. So that is what I'm going to be making today, and I'll be sharing that with you. This is a new probiotic that I'm trying. I saw it at the store, Her Own. And, you know, it's really, really good. I'm really uh, liking this. This is a uh, probiotic, women's probiotic with four strains and five billion CFUs to support a healthy gut and immunity. Berry flavor. I like the taste of it. And you take two of these daily. And um, main ingredient is just apple cider vinegar. So I like this. Vegan, non-GMO, no added sugar, no synthetic flavors or colors. So this is a new probiotic that I'm using. And I think that it is very, very good. It really has helped my gut. Since I have been using it, I can tell the difference um, in my gut uh, function. Let me say that, in my gut function. Um, I had ran out so far, I'd say about maybe two weeks, I was without probiotic. And so when I started taking this one, it, you know, I could really uh, feel what was happening. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make my cornbread, not the peanut butter. Let me move that over. <laughs> but these are the ingredients I'm going to be using to make my cornbread. Cornbread. A lot of us love cornbread, especially for my culture, I must say. I love cornbread. I don't have it very often anymore, but since it's the holidays, it is time for me to make some cornbread. Um, I'm going to be using coconut flour, almond flour. I'm going to be using baking powder, some sour cream, some monk fruit sweetener, some butter, and some eggs and also some salt so these are the ingredients that I will be using in my cornbread this is how I'm breaking my fast this morning this is a salad that I have made 
And I have some tomato slices in here. I have an egg that is sliced up. I have my feta cheese. I have my uh, lettuce. Some, um, uh, what is that, chopped ham. A little bit of sliced carrots. Um, so good. It's a chef salad that I bought that's, you know, from the store and I just added in my little extra ingredients and I added in five raspberries to this. I'm going to drizzle this with some extra virgin olive oil that I have and then maybe a little bit of salt and pepper and then I'm going to have some of the chicken casserole and then a good, good serving of the spinach. So this is what I'm getting ready to go ahead and eat now. Let's see, the time is... Uh, I'll wait until 9 o'clock. So this is what I'll be breaking my fast with today. So I just finished eating my sugar-free jello. I had to have that. And I put a few pecans on it because, you know, that's something I'm just used to having. I wanted something sweet. So when I get ready to make my cornbread today, I'm going to go ahead and film it. But there's going to be a lot of noise. So... I'm going to be cooking to music again, but I'm going to make the keto cornbread so that I'll have something um, to eat mainly with my chili. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together. In here I have two cups of almond flour and um, let's say I believe it's about a quarter cup of coconut flour. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the bowl. You want to start off by mixing your dry ingredients together. Okay. In this other container, I have three tablespoons of baking powder. And then I have uh, about a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. Go ahead and add that in there. half of some uh, I used my uh, monk fruit and here I have a third cup of monk fruit sweetener okay this I want to just mix it around really really good make sure that it's well blended And remember, this is cornbread. Okay. Go ahead and add in the eggs. I'm using three eggs that I'm going to add into the dry mix here. I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter. Melted butter is easier to blend in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my sour cream. And put, you need to put in a third cup or a quarter cup of sour cream. Okay. The butter is melted, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in also. Melted butter is just easier to work with. Actually, you can just make this just like you are making your regular cornbread, except you are using... Um, sugar substitute and you're using almond flour and coconut flour instead of the white flour that you would normally use. Everything else is about the same. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix this together really good. You can see how it's mixing together. Okay. And 
And you want to just make sure that you're mixing it really well. And you can see how it looks kind of thick, but that's okay. Okay. And I had to season my skillet, so I'm still waiting for it to cool off. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the skillet. And I'm going to put it into the oven on 350. And I'm going to bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then I'll be back with the finished product. Okay, for See if this will. I'm gonna put some butter in here. This is the cornbread, and you can see how good that really looks. It's thick. Just go ahead and put it in your skillet. It's best to use the cast iron skillet, and I use butter. I am cooking mine in butter. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven, like I said, on 350 for about 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes, and then I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, this is the cornbread. As you can see, it looks delicious. And I'm almost sure it is delicious as it looks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my butter on top of this. The same community now paying respects for a man who gave his all. You are clear for So I'm just going to thank you for your service. Job well done. Let this butter melt down on here. And this is going to be my cornbread. I'm going to eat this, some of it while I'm eating my chili. And I'm going to have this for dinner before I go to bed tonight. Okay. Jackie, thank you. Before today's memorial, fellow officer. and was put on the main card of a major pay-per-view event, where McGregor and Poirier met in a rubber match. So I went by the store for a quick grocery haul this evening. Can you believe that this small amount of food. I have a Diet Pepsi over on the table. This small amount of food was 50 bucks at the store. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyhow, I got some ground beef. Have the 80-20. Uh, 100% pure beef, no additives, 19 grams protein per serving, and I got a 48 ounce, three pound pack, and it was on sale for $9.99, so $10. Here I have uh, just some regular large grade A eggs, have some sour cream, I got me some Jimmy Dean sausage, this was on sale for like $5.99, so I thought it was a good buy. Uh, a couple of avocados, and then I got myself a salad, something that um, if I'm wanting to eat really fast, I can grab this salad and I won't eat the corn, but
But everything else in there, I believe, is edible as far as I'm concerned. I have some spicy taco seasoning um, for when I want to make some uh, tacos and I don't feel like making the seasoning. Have some sugar-free um, heavy whipping cream. And I have some regular heavy whipping cream. But this is what I picked up at the store. Just a quick grocery haul. Um, have some things in mind that I'll be making. So, that's it. <laughs>